Well, down here on the near, just dumped the boat in the water. And I'm here with the one, the only striper Steve Knight. That's right. Are you nailing today, brother, or what? Yeah, man, we're doing good. We're already seeing them waiting on that group to get here. As soon as they get here. Yeah. We're just out in front of the ramp here, just looking around with the new MR transducers, trying to dial them in a little bit. It's a beautiful day. We got a bunch of bait, some big old spoons, and as soon as our buddies get here, we're gonna cover the water with Steve Knight. Smash them up. Some big, nice big baits in there. Yeah. All right. One, one thing we're doing here, what Steve likes to do is, and he's kind of man, he's uh, kind of perfected his technique. He's looking here. These are all standing trees here. They didn't fell all the trees when they flooded this lake, and you can see that's a full, that's a forty, that's forty foot down right there. So you can see how, guess how tall that tree is. And he's not fishing in these fish that are hanging on the tops of these trees. That can be real tempting. I've done it myself. I've stopped and tried to catch those fish. And he's, uh, right now anyway, we're looking for fish that are not in the trees. That's a good school of shad right, or herring right there. There's a lot of fish right out here. We're gonna re drop out here on a different bottom. And when you find good spots, you know, go ahead and drop a waypoint on them. That's what you got your machines for, you know? All right, we'll get them right there, right between all that thunder. So what are you looking for right now? I'm really following a trail of fish and try to follow them through the school. But a lot of times they'll lead them. You, know, you start seeing a single, double, triple fish, you know, then they'll lead you through the school. So that's really what I'm looking for, mm. trying to get on that trail. Lead me to the, to the rest of them. We see plenty of scattered fish around here. Okay. You know it. We have four down lines set out here, only four. And right now, we can see all four on the screen at one time with one transducer. One, two, three, four. Look how far apart those are set. And that one transducer, just a medium chirp transducer. Less than 300 bucks. It's Air Mar TM 150. What we're seeing here is the steady lines are those lead weights. These are long leaders. So like these, the thin lines here moving, that's the herring. Because these herring can move. We have very long leaders. Mm -hmm. So those little dash, see that one right? See that there? That's mm -hmm. your that's the herring swimming along. So mm -hmm. that's his weight, and that's and you'll sometimes you'll know what a <clears> fish is by because all of a sudden you'll see that herring stretch out the leader. You'll see that herring uses all the leader just trying to get away from that. So this is the hearing aid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, that fish was way off to the side. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't see him. That's why. Yeah, it's it's definitely wider than what you're used to for sure. <laughs> and we could set a specific frequency no, if you'd I'm like. Okay. I'm just learning. I'm, yeah, I'm yeah, that's right. I understand. That's so. exactly right. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn. And it just it just helps you find out where the fish are in in the, in the water column. Right, right, right. Yeah, you can step up. It's a firmly made boat. Imagine that. Yeah. Well, drag's paying out nice. You need to come over. Just don't trip on the wire. Oh. And you can see we're not using all accurate reels here. Accurate doesn't make a line counter reel, and that's. Line counter is real important here for depth here with a striper Steve man. He likes his line counters and I see why. That's a good little fish, huh? There are a bunch of transducers back there. <laughs> oh, that's a a little bit, huh? Yeah. It's a pretty fish. Pretty fish. Give a warm water release, man. Just let them plunge straight in. 
Not very pretty. It's about a 2.3. Oh, there it is, right there. GeorgiaWildlife.com. You got it? Uh, that's like that right here. <laughs> that's my deal, though, too. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's the clicker. It's the oh, counter. That's yeah, that's oh, when the counter. Oh, I got you. Counters are loud. Quit! Oh, Quit! Don't that's probably that's tangled up. Bass fisherman moved there with that twenty pound test line. Mm -hmm. him in. I'm not putting any pressure on it. I'm just line guy. I don't want to bunch up on the on the reef. That's right. The other thing is right the damn thing real quick too. All right, Steve. So people want to come book trips with you. What's the best way to do it? Right, call me, hit me up on Facebook, Striper Steve's Fishing Charters on Facebook, or my phone number is 404 580 3255. I just got it. You can find that. me at www.stripersteve.com. That's about obnoxious. It is obnoxious. You know, I put the clicker on, stop taking drag, didn't it? We just put that clicker on so we could hear it take drag, and it stopped. Step all the way back, Jimmy. Go to the starboard side, Jimmy, all the way back. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's a nice one, Jimmy, right there. That's a nice fish. Nice fish pulling back up. Woo! Yeah, baby. I think you caught one. Yeah, you caught one, buddy. That is a beautiful Lake Lanier fish. Striper Steve style. Off. At first, beautiful fish. At first, right down. Nice. That's the best way to do it. Just give them that rush of oxygen. Head first direction, straight down. And that fish is down to 30 feet of water already. I know we're going to see it on the fish finder. There it is right there. Excellent, man. Good job, good job, good job. All right, this is what happened. I'm trying to get the dang thing. I want to show you the screen what just happened Take here. Take them on up there around that troll motor so they don't wipe out that other rod over there. Come on up here. So way down around that motor. Steve was looking at these two fish right here. And Joe had this line right here. And Steve goes, drop it. And he saw these two. So he dropped it, leveled out. He says, drop it again. He dropped it and went right, bunked that, that fish right in the head. You can see right here. That fish just said, "Wow, I want it. He hooked up, and that's him bringing it up. And he's hooked up right now. It's not just having good electronics, Striper Steve. It's about knowing how to read them, brother. And you got it down, son. You got it down. And we are using the... Oh, it's a good fish. These long leaders make it a little tricky. Good fish. Using that motor guide right there to... Anchor lock us in. Good job, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Right. Good job, brother. We had to read it. Had the play-by-play -play going. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Same exact thing just happened. <laughs> There's that fish right there. I'm telling you, it's not the same one. This was the first one. And that's the one that just happened now. Nope, you can get underneath, go underneath that motor over here. You're gonna wipe these other ones out. You can go all the way around. That's it, you're doing good. Way down in the water with that thing. All right. Nicely done. Way to go. Yep, you want to take drag, just let them do it, right? Only, I got them light leaders aren't really thick, so. Them drag should be set pretty good. Yeah, you're, you're playing it perfect, man. You're playing it perfect. 
Hey, told you. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. A little better fish is a little better. Tangled in that other rod. Uh, which which reels are these, Steve? Uh, the Dakota, Dakota 500, made by Shimano. Real good reels. Got the line counter in it. And Steve uh, specializes in man being technically accurate, and I mean details, details. I love the line counter idea. A lot of guys shy away. I don't know why. Now my accurate reels, I don't have line counters. They don't make a line counter reel, but we just use this here. It's just a. Those I are mean, almost better. I'd, I'd about rather have those. It's an inexperienced. It's an inexpensive uh, rod. I think it was like, I don't know, fifty bucks maybe. And I've had them for a long time. Those line counter reel rods, and they they've lasted. All right. Crank down one more time, Joe. You got that line. We can all do it. It'll be a team effort. <laughs> What's, up? What's up? Jeff Blair's Lake Lanier Guide Service. We're putting it on the trailer. Don't have okay, Call that number and book some trips with you, man. Yeah. What's your website? Uh, Lake Lanier's Dropper Charter. Cool, man. These guys have been wearing them out right next to us. He just uh, brought that bait up here, right up into these stripers we came across. He just brought it up to here and he saw that fish come and look at it. From here, went and came and looked at it. Look at him. Chase that bait. These are, leaders are a little long, so they can chase them all over the place. There's a good one right there. Looking at right there. There he is. Whoa! Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Nice. Alright, throw him over. Yeah, take him on up front. So you don't get around and throw him on Oh. You put that on him, please. Just, yep, just like that. Buttons up. Striper Steve Knight. There's All right, it cut off. Woo, look at that accurate reel screen. Mike. Yeah, these long leaders. Yep. Take a little that. finesse. Yeah, you can grab the leader with the net and just slowly swim them to you. There you go, nice. These are healthy fish, man. Good fighting fish, even in the summertime. Right now, the surface right now is uh, 88 degrees. For every second we hold that fish in that 88 degree water, we're cooking his brain. And yeah, we got dead fish floating all over Lake Murray right now. That's where he just released that fish straight down. And it's just, look at that, went right back into that little school. That's that fish. He went right down and leveled off. That's incredible, man, huh? Yep. Yeah, it's a far cry from the flashers we used to use, man. <laughs> Look at that. We can see that same exact fish still. <laughs> it takes a little while to learn the striper Steve talk. Goes, uh -huh. Go down, go down, go down, go down. No, not you. I was talking to the fish. <laughs> I was talking to the rod. They, they piss me off sometimes, man. You gotta cuss them. Gotta let them know who's bosses. <laughs> Throw them a rod and reel every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah, I've had those days. Just when you think you've outgrown it, 